Greetings again. Sir Morgan here once more. Today I'll be showing you how to divide a line into equal parts. Now for this lesson, you will need your two set squares. You will also need your pencil, pencils, and your compass. I will now go ahead and border my paper. Now that I've bordered my paper and completed my title block, I will now, I will now draw a line AB to measure 100 millimeters. 100 millimeters is the same as 10 centimeter. So I'm just gonna draw a line first using my construction line. And now I'm going to highlight 100 meters exactly and identify the line as AB. So I'll be drawing my outline from 0 to 10 on this set square. Now there you can see my outline clearly, A, B. Now I'll be drawing a line from A at an, at an angle, an angle that is convenient to me. So you should also draw a line at an angle that is convenient to you. I will now draw this line construction line now I am going to divide this line into 10 into 10 equal parts right I'm going to divide this line into 10 equal parts so what I'm gonna do is that I'll be installing my compass Sorry, I'll be installing my pencil into my compass. And again, we want to ensure that the, the pencil and the tip of our compass is balanced. Now, I will open my compass to a convenient radius, right? Not big, but a small convenient radius. One that I think I can get at least 10 marks on this line. If I'm unable to get... 10 intervals on this line, then I will have to ex extend um, this line down more. So what I'm now going to do is that I'm going to put my compass point at A and I'm going to be marking off, marking off some arcs on this line that I drew. Now from this first arc that I just drew, I'll now put my compass point at this arc and make another mark on the line. Now these marks that we are making are called arcs. So I'll be making some more marks on our line. We have, we, have, we have just done the second one. I'll be going up to 10. Oh, 
Okay, so I've just made 10 marks on the line. We're going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, if you had wanted to divide the line AB into 8 equal parts, then you would have to make 8 marks or 8 arcs on this line. Now, please note that when we were making the, the arcs, we did not move the compass at all. So the compass should remain in the position that you had set it before. The final step, or the next step, is that from the 10th mark, we are going to draw a line from the 10th mark to point B. Right? So if we wanted to divide this line into 8 parts, we would draw a line from the 8th mark to point B. But because we want to divide this line into 10 equal parts, we are going to be drawing a line from the 10th mark to point B. We will now do so. Now, there you can see our 10 mark. Now, the next step is that we need to use two set squares. Now, what we will do is that we will put one set square along our line, which is our 10th line. Now, once we have done that, what we will do next is to put the other set square under this first set square, right? And then we will be sliding this set square upwards to the marks. Now, you have to be careful not to move this set square right here. This set square, you must not move it, right? The only set square that will be moving is this one right here, right? So this one will be stationary and this one we will move along this set square all right so ensure that your set square is ensure that your set square is along the tenth line then we will now slide to the ninth position we will now slide to the ninth position and we will draw our line Now we will slide to all the other marks and draw lines to the AB line. Now, this line AB is now divided into 10 equal parts. I'm going to try to measure two of them randomly. Now, based on this measurement, I'm now getting 10, 10 millimeters or one centimeter right there. So from here, here is one centimeter and I'm also going to choose another one randomly okay and also from here to here I'm also getting my 10 millimeters or my one centimeter again this is now proving that our line was divided into equal parts, 10 equal parts, right? And the length of AB is 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters. So, so AB 
equal 10 centimeters. Now this is exactly how we divide a line into equal parts. Thanks for watching and if you know of, an, of another student at another school, please feel free to share this video with them once they are a technical joint student. Thanks for watching.